there! Welcome! My name's Rob, the director. This series of instructional videos is designed to help you feel more at home at Laurel House. After this brief series of modules, you should feel both excited and prepared for your new semester at the co-op. Let's get started! This first module about your co-op room will help teach you about keys, house furniture, HVAC, and sharing a bathroom. Let's get started. On move-in day, you received four keys. Your first and perhaps most important key is your room key. Next is your stairway key. Don't forget your elevator fob. Some of your house officers have a master key. For smaller packages like envelopes, you'll need your mail key. That completes our module on your full set of keys. Now let's take a look at your room furniture. That wraps up all your room furniture. Now, let's take a look at the HVAC system. That stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Each suite in Laurel House has its own thermostat, as you'll see over here. You'll have to come to some agreement with your suite mates about what temperature setting you'll like to choose. That wraps up the HVAC system. Now let's learn more about your bathroom plan. Come on in. That concludes our room module. Hopefully, you feel well acquainted with your new Laurel House room. Let's take a tour. Laurel House occupies the first and second floor of this building we call the Super Co-op, located at 1905 Wessex Street, Austin, Texas, 78705. Our neighbors in the Super Co-op are Nueces on the 3rd floor and Halstead on the 4th and 5th floor. Fuck them. Let's take a look outside. We're down at street level in front of the Super Co-op where you'll find access to our fitness center. Let's take a look inside. You'll find all sorts of equipment, including cardio machines, free weights, and the power racks. And don't forget to rack your damn weights. And that's the gym, which concludes our tour of the Super Co op. Don't forget that there's two elevators in the Super Co-op, one on the west and the other on the east side. Here's some tips on how to ride the elevator with etiquette. Make sure not to look anyone in the eye or speak while you're taking the elevator. Your mail key gives you access to the box with your room's number on it. Make sure not to place any personal items in front of the mailboxes. If you have any waste cardboard boxes, please flatten them and place them in the blue bin behind me. Oh, hey, Calum. I didn't see you there. Hello, Robert. What's your favorite commons room? I like the movie room. 
Here at Laurel House, we value our members' cultural enrichment. That's why we have collectively purchased access to Netflix, Hulu, and other video streaming services. For example, this is one of my favorite shows. Welcome to the Laurel Computer Room, equipped with five PC personal computers. None of them are password protected, so have at it. And here is our maintenance closet, full of all sorts of tools necessary for the upkeep of the building. If you need any help with repairs, please contact your maintenance coordinator. Look! It's another crane! And here we have the drying rack, where you can dry laundry in the air. Look! Golden Cricket! My favorite color. In this room, you'll find all sorts of our kitchen supplies. Don't f*** with them or I'll find you. You can also find the trash chute in this room. Make sure that any trash you put down it fits neatly. And remember, recyclables go in the recycling and compost goes in the compost for food waste. Let's talk about the kitchen. One thing to remember, everyone has access to the kitchen for cooking personal meals, but please don't try to use the kitchen while house labor is in effect for a house meal. In this part of the kitchen, we have the convection oven, a commercial steamer, and the stove top. Here, Sam, take a hairnet. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget to pre-sort organic food waste into the compost bin with the green bag and all other non-recyclable waste into the litter bin. <coughs> it's very important to abide by health code. Callum over here is going to demonstrate the correct way to wash your hands. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Notice that as Callum is washing his hands, he's singing a song to help him keep track of the 20 required seconds to fully sanitize his hands. Good job, Callum. Make sure to use paper towels to adequately dry those precious hands. Thanks for sticking with us through all those modules. 
I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you feel both prepared and excited to spend a little time living with us here at Lowell House. Hope you have a great day.